Now we are now joined by Shrikant Vadlamani, who is Vice President, Financial Institutions Group at Moody's Investor Service. Shrikant, thank you very much for joining us here on NDTV Profit. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. So the current problem of bad loans that these banks are facing is not really going to get any help from this bankruptcy law? Uh, I think at this stage in the credit cycle, uh, the, the problem is not as much about uh, the borrowers of the companies not cooperating with the banks. Uh, the fundamental issue, in, in our view, is that uh, the underlying assets are at values on the books of the banks, uh, which, which, are, which are much higher than what it is actually the market, actual market values. So essentially, for them to get out of these asset quality issues, we believe maybe substantial amount of haircuts have to be taken. So this is something that is really not in the ambit of the bankruptcy court. So, so while clearly bankruptcy code will help, uh, its ability to make a difference uh, in the current context is a bit uh, constrained because the problems are something that, that are outside of the ambit of the bankruptcy code. Then why do you say that it's going to be credit positive for the banks and by when? Sure. I mean, over the medium term, it's a game changer in terms of the relative bargaining power of banks vis-a-vis corporates. I mean, our, the past track record in India has been that it's been very difficult for banks to recover uh, when, when somebody defaults because the legal process is very cumbersome. We think what this bankruptcy court does is that in the event of default, uh, the, the consequences are now as painful for the companies and the promoters as it is for the creditors. Because on day one, as soon as the process is initiated, they lose control of the company. So now that the pain is sort of commonly shared, we think uh, banks will be much more successful in, in, in getting this, in getting these sort of borrowers onto the bar onto the bargaining table. But all this will happen, Shrikant, only if we have a supportive infrastructure as far as this code is concerned, right? Uh, absolutely. I mean, in, in infrastructure obviously is very crucial, uh, and in the past, one of the reasons why. Uh, the debt recovery tribunals haven't worked is because there was not, not enough institutional capacity. But at the same time, I don't want to overemphasize that because we, at this point, I think we need to recognize that uh, the, 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 the problems of the law are quite dramatically different from the legal structures that have existed before. Uh, the, the key here is that uh, in the past, the delay in the legal process almost wholly impacted uh, the lenders. Now, the delay in the legal process, if it happens, actually impacts both lenders as well as borrowers. Uh, right. So, so, so th that, that is a key change. But, you know, we have many other laws, the existing laws, if you talk about when a case goes to a, you know, a debt recovery tribunal or it is sold to some other agency for a possible uh, solution. Uh, you know, we may talk about a time-bound solution, but it never happens. So how are we going to be so confident that under bankruptcy code, this timeline is going to be met? I mean, uh, I, think, I think your skepticism on the timeline uh, is, is on good grounds. Even on the DRTs, uh, by law, I think the cases have to be turned around within six months. But clearly, that doesn't happen because of the because of the delays in the legal process. The point here is that the, uh, the, the that uh, if a delay happens in the current context, it means the existing promoters are not in control of the company for even longer. So at least the process of a settlement or process of a restructuring which is reasonable, uh, the chances of it happening are much greater now than it was ever in the past. So even assuming that there is no improvement in the legal process part of it, we think this can, this can lead to substantial improvement. That is number one. Number two, the role of the legal system has also been significantly changed uh, compared to what was in the past. Uh, in the current context, the role of the legal system is actually sort of constrained to only ensuring that the procedural aspects of the code are followed. The actual substance in terms of uh, what sort of restructuring has to be done, who has to take how much haircut and all, is almost totally up to the creators committee. While I do accept that even now uh, in, in no bankruptcy system can you eliminate the legal system, the role of it has now been a sort of uh, constrained to some specific areas, which should also lead to less delays than what it was in the past. 
Right. Now, based on your analysis and your research of this entire code, how will it function? What is that one thing that you would want uh, should be kept in mind while uh, you know making the infrastructure for this particular code? What what is that one thing that that is really important right now? I think the, the most important is to get the to ensure that the system has a capacity to process volumes. It simply comes down to that. Right now, I think there are more than 5,000 odd liquidation cases that are pending. There are a lot of cases in the debt, rec debt recovery tribunals that are pending, and all of this will come into the into the under the new legal structures, the 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 the, the, the law tribunals that are going to be uh, set up. Uh, the the key is that uh, the, the the most important thing is that these should not be the the, the new legal system should not be clogged. Then it goes into an ever uh, uh, ever elongated processes. So I think getting enough uh, infrastructural capacity in place is probably the key right now.